So here we are again talking about the Galaxy Note 10 and I'll tell you one thing, after reading through a lot of the comments in my last video and actually the one even before that, I realized exactly why it is you guys are hating on this Galaxy Note 10 and 10 Plus. And I totally understand. There are a lot of reasons that I don't agree with you, but there's at least one that I a thousand percent agree with you on. And I'll tell you what it is right after this. this, this is, uh, you know you to, to Travis. What up players, welcome back. And for all you new people, welcome. My name's Travis and I do tech videos every single week and have a blast doing them. If that sounds like fun to you, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Anything I talk about will be in the description below. But for now, let's just get into the video. Now, as I've been talking about over the last several weeks, the Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus are right around the corner. Some people are very excited. They've already set their pre-orders. I have set my pre-order. Full disclosure, I'm getting the thing. Now, I'm getting it again because I have this YouTube channel. But as someone who has had a Galaxy Note 2 all the way through the Galaxy Note 9, every single one in between, I'm, you know, listen, I'm gonna, I, I was, I'm kind of excited, kind of. But not as much as I would have been like two years ago. I got the OnePlus 7 Pro and I've been super happy with that. And to be perfectly honest, if it wasn't for this YouTube channel, I would not be getting the Galaxy Note 10 Pro like I am right now. So while I am gonna be interested to review it for you guys and show you if it's worth buying and worth upgrading to, I'm unsure if it's gonna become my daily driver. I don't know yet, but I'm interested in the journey. However, y'all have been really giving your opinions in the comments and been making it very clear that some of you are super upset. Now, I can't remember a time where Samsung fans were quite this upset at Samsung for releasing a new phone. For the most part, it's been smooth going. You know how the Samsung Knights are. New phone, it's the best thing around. Nothing else is good. Everything else sucks. This time, Samsung fans are saying the Note sucks. It's kind of crazy. I think a lot of it comes from people hating on the fact that the headphone jack has been pulled. And I mentioned this in my last video. If you have not seen that video, make sure you watch it. I'll put it here. I'll put it in the end screen. You must watch it. It's all the reasons why a lot of people are actually hating on the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Pro, and I kind of try to debunk most of them. The number one thing seems to be the headphone jack. And I'm telling you right now, as I said in that video, I'm not gonna go into a whole long thing about it, but get used to it. Here's the thing. If you think Samsung took removing the headphone jack lightly, you're wrong. Obviously they made it part of their marketing for the last several years, how they were one of the few flagships left with a headphone jack. One of the few left. Think about that. One of the few left. And the other ones that are left that have it besides Samsung are now looking at Samsung going, guess it's time we get rid of it. So hate on it or not, that thing is going away. As a matter of fact, Samsung used data to remove it. They just didn't remove it just to put in a bigger battery. That's not the only reason. They checked, and this doesn't surprise me. Samsung says up to 70% of Galaxy Note and S users use Bluetooth headphones and Bluetooth speakers. So why would they continue to support something for only 30% of their fan base? It's not good business. So you can hate on it or whatever. Uh, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you, this is the way it's gonna be. Headphone jack's going away. So make your peace with it and figure it out. However, some of you are also hating on the uh, Note 10 and Note 10 Pro for a couple of other reasons. And I don't actually blame you. And as a matter of fact, I mentioned this in other live streams and other videos, but I wanna make a really big point about this because I do agree with you about this. The Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Pro, first of all, the fact that there's two is ridiculous. The Galaxy Note 10 has always been like one size fit all. Of course, you could get different you know, storage sizes, but other than that, it was just the same phone. It was the same exact phone. There were no spec differences. You could get a different color, sure. You could get a different capacity size, sure, but they're the same phone. This year, Samsung went off the deep edge, decided to throw out a Galaxy Note 10 that's gimped not even really a Galaxy Note 10 Pro. Like it's not even Note series. It's almost like a fake S series. It's got a lower resolution than even the S10. It doesn't have like, it doesn't have a lot of the things that, it doesn't even have like a, a SD card. Like listen, it's got too many compromises. The one thing that Galaxy Note phones have never been is a compromise. And that's why you were all mad. And I gotta be honest, I totally agree with you. The Galaxy Note series of phones was never about compromise. It was never about removing features. It was never about trying to save money. It was never about any of those things. You have other phone lines that you can do that with, whether it be the A series of Galaxy phones, or even now the lower end versions of the S series. You don't touch the Note series, man. So I totally get it, you're right. Samsung should not have messed with the Note series of phones. 
We could go back and forth on the headphone jack issue. I mean, to me, it's going away at some point anyway. However, gimping it in other places and also not upgrading the hardware appropriately for this phone is upsetting. The Note series was always the last phone to come out from Samsung for the year, so they had plenty of time to put all the best technology in. And sure, while they did a great job of booting some really great software options in the Note 10 and Note 10 Pro this year, I mean, some really cool features, the reality is that's pretty much all they could hang their hat on. Sure, they put the hole in the middle of the screen, but now you don't have two cameras in the front. And Listen, at the end of the day, this is starting to hurt my brain. I totally agree with all of you. They should not be compromising the Note series of phones. Now, here's where it gets kind of tricky. Depending on how the sales of these phones do will help dictate in the future if they will continue this trend. Let me just say this incredibly clearly to you, Samsung, because as a Note fan, as someone who's had Notes ever since the Note 2, I want you to hear this very clearly. Stop messing with the Note series. Make it the best, the absolute best of the year. The best processor, in this case, it should be the 855 Plus at the very least. The best camera, I know that there's new camera systems coming out for the S11 next year. I want the best at the end of this year. At this time of the year, I want the best. The ROG from Asus, right now, getting ready to come out, is gonna have better hardware than the Note 10 Plus. That is ridiculous. There should be no other Android phones released this year that can top the Note series. That's always been the case, and now it's kind of not the case anymore. So yes, you're gonna make many people upset about your Note series of phones, and the problem is, there's only a specific number of those people anywhere. Most of them were hardcores. If you start pissing off the hardcores, you are just, you are making a huge mistake. I just need to say this clearly, you're making a huge mistake. As someone who has loved the Galaxy Note series of phones for years, it pains me to see this. I'm still gonna get it, I'm still gonna enjoy it, it's still gonna be an excellent phone. I know it's gonna be a great phone, trust me, I get it. I know it's gonna be awesome, I'm probably gonna love it. But the fact that I'm not even sure if it's gonna replace my OnePlus 7 Pro should tell you a lot. You didn't put the fastest screen on there, 120 hertz or even 90 hertz. Well, 120 hertz has been out for a couple of years now. Razer's been doing it for a long time. You haven't put like the best of anything on, on, on this phone that you could have been doing. Matter of fact, it's so crazy to me that they gave the 90 hertz screen to OnePlus. They've given all these different pieces of technology to other companies to take advantage of and they won't take advantage of it themselves. So Samsung, if you're listening, we do want the note, the uncompromising note. Take this video clip, what I'm saying right here and put it into next year's thing and say this, this year's note is uncompromising the best in 2020. They need to use that. If you think that's right, hit it down in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you think the Note 10 has compromised too much? The Note 10, Note 10 Plus, doesn't matter. Have they compromised too much? Is that why they're not getting your money? I know a lot of people have left comments saying they're not buying it, and I'll tell you what, I kind of don't blame you, but I still got one anyway. I'm gonna have it, it's gonna be great. I can't wait. I'm actually looking forward to it, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's, it's still gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. If this video helped you out in any way, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if it didn't, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I'm here every single week having a blast. Hope to see you again real soon. Peace and love, peace and love. Back to the comments.